Hey guys, so in this video we are going to create this, so let's say you have an audio file then just select it and it will give you the transcript of it. And also if you have an audio file in different language than English, then you can just select that audio file and then translate that audio to English. So let's get started. So open up your favorite code editor and create a Python file, you can name it whatever you want. And then as you can see we have the sample audio files. One is a song and other one is a Hindi movie dialogue. So let's get started. So let's start with importing Gradio as GR. And yes sorry, I forgot, before importing Gradio, let's install it. So just do pip install Gradio on the terminal and also we will need OpenAI library so install OpenAI too. So just type pip install Gradio OpenAI on the terminal. And as you can see both got installed, so now let's just clear the terminal and resume our coding. Now let's import OpenAI package which we are gonna use later. OpenAI has a lot of AI models so in this video we are going to use Whisper AI model. And also we are gonna need some things like text box to paste API key and show output, radio button to select the task and audio component to select or drop the audio file. Now let's create a simple function which will do our main job, as you can see it takes an API key, audio file and task as a parameter. API key is to authenticate the user, audio file is the audio file uploaded by the user and task can be either transcription or translation. And also OpenAI reads the audio file in binary mode, so we are opening it in binary mode using with Open Context Manager. And here if task is transcribe we are using transcribe function in openai.audio and if task is translate, then translate function to do the translation. And then openai returns a dictionary with text as a key and the return data as a value, so at the end we are just returning that return text by openai. So let's create the input interface. First the text box where we paste the openai API key. Then we are gonna use audio component we imported from Gradio to create the interface where we select the audio file. And then we are gonna use radio component from Gradio to create those cute looking radio button where we select the task we are gonna perform. And we are also gonna need a text box to show the output, so let's just create a text box for that too. We are gonna use the text box component we imported at the beginning. Now this is where the magic happens. We are just gonna create an interface using Gradio.interface. Now first the first argument fn means the function which will run on the submit button. Inputs means all the inputs we are gonna use on this app and we have to pass it as a list in the same order our function is accepting parameter. Output simply means the component where we are gonna show the result. Title is the web page title and description is the simple description of the thing we are doing, it is not necessary to pass these things. Now let's just launch the Gradio app using app.launch and done. Our code part is finished. So now let's just run the script and see what do we get. To run the script type python and your script name on the terminal. And as you can see our app is running on the localhost port 7860, so now just copy the URL and open up any browser and paste the URL there. Here I am gonna use Chrome browser, so I copied the URL and just gonna paste it here. And here as you can see we get this cool loading state too. Remember we didn't write much code, but we get this cool looking perfectly responsive website. Now let's check if it works or not. First of all, we are gonna need an API key so for that go to the website platform.openai.com and sign up if you don't have an account and login if you have, then click on your profile icon and then click on view API key button and there just generate a secret key and just paste in on the input field. And then select any audio file. Here I have this song. So let's get the transcript of it. Now to get the transcription, select the transcript radio button and then just submit. Now let's see what is happening on the code part. As soon as we click the submit button, this function run, first it authenticate the user using API key and then read the audio file in binary mode and then check the task and see that it is transcription, so it runs the transcription function on audio class and simply returns the text as we see on the output. And here as we see, we get the transcription of the song, now instead of song, you can get the transcript of speech or any audio file. Now here I have this dialogue from a Hindi movie, so now let's translate Hindi to English and get the transcript of it. So for that just select the audio file and select the translation radio button and just submit and wait for some seconds and you will see your English transcript of Hindi dialogue. And on the code part, it's just doing the same thing and instead of transcribe, it runs translate function on openai.audio class. And that's it guys, please comment on how did you like this video and I will see you on the next one.